In this video, I'll show you guys how to dual mine Re-Ethereum and Radiant, and I'll also show you guys how to set this up on Windows and Hive OS. Now, whilst checking over on hashrates.no for some overclock settings for my 3090, I did realize that Radiant was the most profitable coin within the last 24 hour period and as you can see if you scroll down Re-Ethereum is ever so slightly down there as well showing that it's profit if your power rate was 0.9 cents per kilowatt hour it would have been minus 7 cents of profit and then for Radiant it would have been 9 cents so I'm seeing at the moment with the amount of traction with the amount of market movement between um, for Re-Ethereum at the moment and I mean also as well Radiant's been you know Radiant's been moving really really well uh, within the markets as well uh, I feel like these two could be a good uh, pair to compare together I mean at the moment with for my for my 39 Pacific you know I am like I say recording this at the same time um, you know normally I'm getting around about uh, 110 mega hash and then around about maybe like 3 th 330 um, you know mega hash on radiant so that's not too bad it's a good way to you know accumulate a little bit extra coins you know fill up two bags at the same time now I know uh, I saw it in some of the comments on the previous video for the re ethereum a lot of people are worried about using uh, metamask I did do a video before in the past uh, on about how securing you know your wallets and things like that you know just make sure guys um, you know if you do make yourself a uh, MetaMask wallet for the first time, make sure that you secure up your seed for us, you, you know, save that offline, put it on a USB stick, something like that. But, like I say, let's jump into the video and I'll show you guys how to set this up. Right, so if you still don't have your wallet set up, then make sure to check out the video that I'll leave in the description and it will also be on my channel. And that'll show you guys how to get yourself a re Ethereum wallet set up. And also I do have a video on how to set a wallet up for Radiant also. So if we look over at the top here, I do have two miners that are currently offering the dual mining Ethereum and for Radiant also as you can see here added support for dual mining for ETHash B3 and for SHA512 Two five six, and then also as well, you can see there's been a bit of an update as well on the BZ miner. Did notice that in the Discord server as well over on Ethereum's Discord. So, if we take a look down at my folders here, I've created a batch bat file in a sense, um, and put together the bat file sheet that you guys would need to put together really and I'll also as well throw this down into the description so that you guys can just copy and paste to make it easier for yourself all you'll need to do is just change out the wallet addresses with your own of course um, but as you can see here um, this is dual mining radiant and Ethereum at the same time currently as you can see if we check over on the pools I've had this going for ever so maybe about uh, you know about an, uh, an hour or so max or maybe two hours um, as I've started to record this it has ever so slightly dropped itself down which is perfectly fine but as I can see I've already made half um, of a, a you know radiant coin which is pretty cool like I say it's on its way and it's starting to do as it should do and I can see here with the 24 hour period it's saying that I would make around about five cents and then also um, I'm actually noticing that the actual average I'm normally kicking through is around about um, 300 mega hash so that would probably be double around you know double that around about 10 cents like I said this is just for one GPU as a comparison guy so as say you know compare this different to your farms as you know as you should do and for your own power rates of course um, but then if we look over on to the re-ethereum uh, and we refresh on there it says total earnings is 0.16 and if we go on the last 24 hour period like I say I think I've been mining this um, for maximum now you know 24 hours in itself and if we check over into here and we log into my wallet as you can see, um, 27 um, GBP, and then also as well as like 0.6 uh, for the actual earnings there. So they are getting sent through. It is going and it is working exactly as it should. I do recommend using the Mining 4 pool if you're going to be mining, and I'd also recommend the Viper.net. Really, really good pool, this uh, Viper.net. Um, and when I started mining on here, it did pop up and it said, um, you know, that we'd noticed that you, if you use the French pool, that you would have a, you know, lower ping of like 21, you know, milliseconds. Um, so, 
you know, it's really, really cool little things that they, you know, do there because I was noticing before that I was at around about 44. So now that I've switched it over, it's saying around about 30, which is pretty good, I would say, so far. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll show you guys how you can set this up on Hive OS and how you can set up your flight sheet. So this is if you're mining on Windows. So let's take it over to Hive OS. So as you can see here, add a new you know flight sheet, take yourself over to your flight sheets, take yourself to the coin section, type in RTH for the coin there, wallet and put the rth if you haven't got a wallet set make sure that you take the wallet from what address from your metamask and add that in there so that you can add that into your wallet on there and then also as well mine for people as i recommended before like i said for myself i would be picking the german pool um but like i say you guys could be picking whichever you are closest to I would recommend to get SRB minor or to use BC minor. I'd also recommend as well, um, make sure to update your Hive OS because they have uh, you know, recently done an update for the new miners. So make sure to update to that as well. And then also in the dual coin section, you would want to put in there RXD then put in your wallet like i say you'd need to take the wallet from your actual wallet and paste that in there like i say guys don't be mining to any exchanges make sure to create your own wallets i have done a video on the channel showing you how to back up your wallets and secure them so make sure you check that out if you're not sure how to back those up but like i say make sure to mine only to your own wallets so fill that in give that a name press create and then you would then click on there and then you click that again for the pool we're going to go to the viper.net as i just mentioned before like i said i really really like that feature where it just it popped up a little notification to say you know hey you could potentially you know get better milliseconds um you know so that you know send your shares through faster like i said the faster you send your shares through the more you can earn in the long run and then also as well name that up of whatever you'd like that should be fine create that as a flight sheet you take yourself over to your worker. Like I say, my worker is currently not working at the moment. As I say, update to the latest version so that you will get the uh, ability so you can actually mine both of these cryptocurrencies at the same time. Like I say, for dual mining support, make sure that you do the force update and then press update on that. But like I say, take yourself over the fly sheets. Once you've done that and press on the rocket and from there, you should be successfully mining now to both of these like i said let me know down in the comments are you guys uh you know into dual mining on your cards do you guys dual mine uh you know i had a quite a big fun uh time with it with uh, ethereum and ton coin back when that was a thing like i say you can't mine that anymore in the same way but you know that was pretty cool in that period of time but let me know if uh, what you guys mind at the moment would you guys like to see some other videos in regard to you know ethereum and also as well just to let you guys know make sure that you set your overclock settings correctly okay so for ethereum the settings are very very close to the ethereum settings but i have heard that they uh, need to be just ever so higher a little bit more on the clocks but i would just make sure to jump into the discord chat with everybody in there ask for some you know settings and people will happily send them over to you or take yourself over to hashrates.no and like i say you can just jump into here and find yours and you'll be able to find the settings in there also if you are new to this channel make sure to have a little look around the channel you can also see that we have plenty of other how to mines reviews and other tech and passive income uh, crypto advice all over the channel and there's a lot of information there for you guys to take in and soak in also as well we do have a current giveaway going on as of today's date if you check over on the on our twitter over at farrington mafia you'll be able to see the giver giveaway or check out the video that's just right here the, like I say the video that I just released a day ago if you go check out that video there that'll give you all the information and stuff that you need to do so you can jump in and get a chance to enter and win one of those bring your own devices I'll leave a link for the video down in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video peace